Today, I'm going to be showing you my five best 1v1 builds for NBA 2K25. I have a 95 win percent. I'm number 15 in the world on the 1v1 court currently, so I have a lot of experience on what works and doesn't work on the 1v1 court. These builds will range from 6'6 to up to 6'9, and all of them will be able to shoot, defend, and dribble with different ways to finish at the basket. The goal with these builds was to be able to guard every build you could possibly play on the 1v1 court, and I have most of these builds you're going to see in today's video at 99 overall all already. Not only that, I will be showing you a cap breaker version, a non cap breaker version, and a pass accuracy version of each of these builds today. So make sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and let me know which one is your favorite build at the end of the video. And let's go ahead and get into it. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And today, we are talking 1v1 builds. Like I said in the intro, we're going to be going over different versions of each of the five builds that I'm going to be showing in today's video. And we're also going to be showing the animations that i have equipped on these builds along with what they're looking like when i upgraded them okay now they're only there's only one build in this video that i don't have made yet that i'm actually going to be making today because i think it's going to be absolutely insane so hopefully it was worth the wait for y'all to see the 1v1 builds video because i have a ton of them in today's video starting with this build right here which is my day one build now obviously i already posted the build video to this but if you guys want a build that's faster than any of the other builds in this video that's six six but can't guard post scores then make sure to go ahead watch that video but the rest of these builds are going to be a little slower but they're all going to be able to guard post scores small guards and all that stuff and once again i do have a 95 win percent i do shoot 60 from three i am top 200 in the level leaderboards and i'm top 15 in the 1v1 leaderboards so i'm a trusted source when it comes to 1v1 builds and yeah let's go ahead and get into build number two of the video now here is the second build we are showing in today's video this is my six foot nine 1v1 build probably the best build out of the all the builds you're gonna see in today's video at guarding post scores it still gets an 80 ball handle to be able to do all the drill moves all the other builds you're gonna be doing in this video and it's an insane defensive build all around obviously it might move a little slower but you could plus one the lightning launch because it's a tier two i personally didn't plus one it so you're watching bronze lightning launch gameplay here but yeah i mean you're not going to see a crazy amount of clips i'm just showing some gameplay here of some a little bit of defense a little bit of offense and then we're going to show you guys how to make this build i uh, also it could be a lot better too because this is the only build in this video where i actually made a mistake on the build in the builder and upgraded it a little bit bit too quick but yeah this build's insane the takeovers it gets are also insane i'm getting a crazy amount of stops on this build when it comes to people drop stepping me or trying to abuse the post scoring gameplay broken mechanics that are in this game uh and it also can guard guard because if anybody goes by it guys this build gets a 93 block it's forcing people to get into pickup animations it's getting a lot of rebounds it has long wingspan it's still dribbling too still getting to the basket still shooting off the dribble when it comes to the mid-range still shooting three pointers as well and you saw the first clip it's getting ankle breakers too so this 6'9 build is the tallest build in this video and it's still doing a lot of what these other builds are doing and that's why we have so many different options for you guys in today's video because there are just a lot of good 1v1 build options out there for y'all and i gotta show y'all all the ones that i made and even one that i didn't even make yet that i'm probably gonna make eventually but anyways let's get into that and make the build now it's on to make the build now this is the 6-9 build like we just showed the gameplay of and this is the out of all these builds in this video that you're going to see this is the best build when it comes to defending post scores and people posting up and it can also take advantage of little guards a lot now this is the only build in this video where i made mistakes on the build i made like the build could be a lot better than the one i made and i'm going to show you what mistakes i made and i'm going to show you the build to make with cap breakers the build with it to make that doesn't have cap breakers and the build with pass act now i mistakenly went power for it if you're going to make this build I would go small four because you save a lot of attributes at the small four position at six nine and you're gonna see how crazy it gets to when i show my build at 99 overall now this build when it comes to wingspan if you want a high wingspan player this is really like one of the only builds in this video that gets a really almost max wingspan the reason we didn't go seven five wingspans because we want that 85 mid-range for the excess extra silver shooting badges and we don't get that at seven five wingspan which is max so we have to go one under max which is seven for four and then with the weight we are at 218 pounds you're gonna want to go to 241 another mistake i made 
I ended up going like 247. You only need to go to 241 for that 95 strength, which is all we're looking for. And that was another mistake I made was with the strength and the cap breakers. But anyways, let's show how I made the build and then let's show how you should make the build. So starting with the shooting stats, we're going to max out the midi. We're going to max out the three. That's going to give us silver shooting badges. Now you could plus one set shot specialist to gold. I ended up not doing that. I left it at silver. But yeah, this is silver shooting badges. You can also shoot the midi. Moving on to the playmaking, we get an 80 ball handle. Yes, you can get 81 for silver handles every day. But guys, this build is 6'9". The tallest height you can go while still getting all the drill moves that all these other 1v1 builds you're going to be getting in this video, which is another reason why I had to show this build in this video. 68 speed of ball. Another thing about speed of ball, it's really all based on the lightning launch badge. It's not really based on the actual speed with ball attribute. Okay, so yes, we are getting 68 speed of ball, but it's tier one, it's a tier two badge lightning launch on this build because it's 6'9. So you could plus one it to silver. I didn't even plus one it to silver. And I'm moving fine on the build. But yeah, you could plus one of the silver and move just as fast as all these other builds in this video that are shorter, okay? Moving on to the defense, the best part about this build. The, the reason I made the build, the reason why the build is so fun to use, I can really defend anybody. 93 interior, guys. 85 perimeter defense. 93 block. And yeah, this build, I, I plus one paint patroller to Hall of Fame. You're going to get that. You're also going to get gold high flying denier once we upgrade the vertical. 85 perimeter for the silver perimeter badges. 93 interior, which is going to give us Hall of Fame post lock once we upgrade the strength. Oh my God. And then steel. I'm going to mention this multiple times in this video. You don't need steel for the once core. For whatever reason on the once core this year, you can get plucks with no steel, with no steel badges. You can get plucks off the drop step when you're guarding post scores, plucks off the close shot, blitzes. You don't need a steal rating. I have 500 plus like 1v1 games played as of the, as, up to this point. I'm number 15 on the 1v1 leaderboards. I have a lot of experience playing competitive 1v1 court in 2K25, and you do not need a steal rating. You literally don't need it. We didn't up, end up upgrading the rebound, but we still get bronze rebound chaser, bronze pogo. And actually, we're going to get higher than bronze pogo because we're going to upgrade the vertical, but we also get silver uh, box out beast. Now, when it comes to the speed and agility, another potential mistake I made on my original build, but we're going to put to 80 speed for now and 76 agility for that silver on ball menace. Then the strength, we're going to go a 90 because what we're going to cap breaker is the plus five strength for 95 strength. And we ended up going 80 vertical, okay, for that gold high flying and denier. And of course, silver pogo stick. And when we plus five this strength, we're going to get Hall of Fame post lockdown, Hall of Fame brick wall, legend strong handle. Hall of Fame brick wall is going to be huge when it comes up, when it comes to draining post scores energy when they're posting you up. And then lastly, the finishing, all I did was just do 63 driving dunk. And this was literally, oh wait, no, actually, no, I also did post control 67 to get some post up badges when you're playing shorter builds. And this is actually helps a lot. Bronze post up poet, bronze, you know, post powerhouse, bronze post fade phenom, you hook specialist silver. So pretty good right there. But yeah, this was the build I made because I accidentally did 91 strength instead of 90 because I all I needed was 95 strength and I plus five to 96 strength. So I ended up going extra strength and this was a 99 overall at power forward. So yeah, we made a big mistake. So now let me show you what we're going to do. So we're going to go to the strength of 90 because we're plus fiving that to 95 strength. Then we're going to go to end up doing 82 driving dunk for some dunk package animations. That's going to give us bronze post riser. Honestly, you could go all the way up to 87 dunk, but you know that's up to you to do but i'm gonna do 82 dunk you can also max the speed to 81 put the agility to 77 and then put the vertical up as much as possible 88 vertical trust me i literally just kept putting up the vertical because it is insane to have a vertical that high it really is and then we just put the close shot up to an 80 to get gold post fade phenom and look at this build at 99 overall you're gonna put the plus five to strength 88 vertical plus 93 block 93 interior guys this build is jumping out the gym i have this build at 80 vertical 88 vertical when you make it correctly at small forward this build is genuinely insane hall of fame paint patroller at the tier one plus one you know you get the hall of fame post lockdown with the plus one with the cap breakers legend strong handle hall of fame brick wall uh it's just crazy silver shooting badges you have good finishing. You're going to get great dunk packages, standing dunk packages, and you have post control when you play guards. You can shoot fadeaway middies. This build can really do it all. And it does it end up getting a new build name? Honestly, I don't know, but it's comparisons to Lamar Odom. 
and OG Ananobi and Jaden McDaniels. This is the perfect build name comparisons, guys, of this 6'9 build. And it actually has the same build name, two-way, three-level shot creator. Now, before I show you guys my 99 stats and my animations I use on this build, let's go ahead and show you guys a version of this build with no cap breakers and a version of this build with pass act. Now, this is what the build is looking like with no cap breakers. So we get that 95 strength that uh, we were going to cap breaker. We get a minus one agility. Really doesn't affect much at all. And we get a 79 post control still. So we still get that gold post fade phenom. We went down on the standing dunk a little bit. Literally doesn't affect anything. We went minus five driving dunk. And honestly, we really didn't take much hit at all. We lost one agility, five driving dunk. We still get the good post control like badges. This build is actually really, really good with no cap breakers. And I'm going to be honest, this is probably the best 1v1 build in this video when it comes to a no cap breaker version. And then here's a version of the build with pass act, 71 pass act for the silver dimer. Trust me, I have plenty of builds with 71 pass act is actually really good. All we lost was a little driving dunk. We still get a lot of good driving dunk animations that are good with a 65 driving dunk. Lost some post control, but hey, we still get bronze post fade, feed on bronze hook, hook specialist. And then we obviously got our pass act and we, you know, still have the 76 agility. Still have the eight. We actually went up with the 81 speed. Still have that 80 vertical, 95 strength. Really didn't lose much to get pass act on this build. Once again, this 6.9 build is looking really good. Let's go ahead and move to my attributes of my 99 overall uh, build of this and the animations i use on the build now, as you can see we are on our 6-9 build of course we're a red plate there's only one build in this video that i'm not a red plate on it's because i literally just made it yesterday but yeah it's the two-way three-level shot creator and like i said these are the 99 attributes because i made a mistake on the build i put an extra strength i went power forward some attributes not are, are not nearly as good as the one that you guys are probably going to end up making but hey that's why i'm the test dummy out here for a lot of these 1v1 builds to learn from the mistakes i make and then show y'all what y'all can end up doing better but anyways let's also take a look at the animations i have on this build as well so you guys can copy that down as well i'm really putting y'all on to everything in this video okay anything y'all need i got you here's the drill moves we also got the dunk packages for you guys uh and yeah i mean the build you can see i'm in the my core with it i'm moving fine with it you could like i said i mean this build gets an 80 ball handle so you're getting the zach levine step back you can get jordan clarkson hop jumper you can get, you know, the good crossovers. You can get the good behind the back. You're getting a bunch of really good dribble animations with this build. And you're at a 6'9 height. So anyways, let's move on to the next build here. All right, y'all, moving on to the third build we're showing in this video. I'm not going to lie. This might be the best ones build in the video. I haven't made this build yet, but I'm telling you right now, I'm going to make it. I just haven't made it yet. I honestly might make it the today, the day I'm uploading this video, because this build is just going to be insane against guards and centers offensively and defensively. And I think it might end up being even better. Well, actually, I know it will be an embedding being end up better after the first patch when they patch that close shot stuff and patch a couple other things uh, that we'll see what they end up doing. But yeah, this is going to be insane. So we're going 6-8. This is the only 6-8 build of the video. We're going shooting guard because he can't go 6-8 point guard. So we're going shooting guard, 6-8. Now, I was really messing around with the wingspan a lot on this build. I thought about going 7-3. So I get the 87 midi for you know, the silver shooting badges. But then I thought about going 7 foot 1 for the 90 midi or the 89 midi to get gold set shot. But I ended up going with 7 foot wingspan so i can get the 91 mid-range to get gold shifty shooter and then plus one it for hall of fame shifty shooter which is fadeaway jump shots because i'm going to be fading middies a lot on this build okay then we're going to be going 222 pounds so we're not going super heavy or anything because we're only shooting for 92 strength on this build and i'll tell you a little bit a little bit more about that in a second so starting with the finishing uh if you guys didn't know the best 99 stat in this game is actually probably not what you would think i've seen players with this 99 stat and it's actually insane how op it is it's not 99 three it's not 99 ball handle not 99 block it's 99 standing dunk yeah when you drop step somebody or you're just in the paint if you just hold your button for the dunk like you're going to get the dunk 
99% of the time. It's actually the best 99 stat in the game. The first version I'm going to be showing is, of course, the non or the cap breaker version. And we're going 94 standing dunk. So we're going to plus five it for 99 standing dunk. Now, I tried to spread the cap breakers around, but this standing dunk attribute just ended up being more expensive than anything else we put on this build. So yeah, 99 standing dunk is going to give us legend rise up. And it's going to make it to where if we play anybody shorter than us, if we really want the win, we're going to easily get the win if we just abuse the standing dunks. Anyways, moving on to the next stat, we're going 80 driving dunk to get Devin Booker dunk package. Uh, I was going to go 82 for Ant. Honestly, all I need is Devin Booker. You get quick drops with this. You get the hangs off one dunk package with that as well. We're going to get, end up getting bronze posterizer as well uh, with that 80 driving dunk too. And then with the post control, we're 6'8". Once again, we want to make it to where if we're playing somewhere smaller than us, we're going to have the advantage and taller. And with this post control and standing dunk, if you're shorter than us, we're going to get the win. 77 post control is going to give us silver post up poet, silver hook specialists. It's actually always also going to give us, I think, silver or yeah, silver post paid phenom and silver post powerhouse once we upgrade those other attributes. This is going to make it to where we can actually spin people to the floor. And we can actually, you know, back some people down if we do want to, you know, drop step into a standing dunk potentially. But yeah, so this build might be insane. I mean, the finishing is crazy. As you can see, we're plus fiving for that 99 standing. Dunk. Then to the shooting. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Okay. I'm going to be going with a 91 mid range. So if we play anybody taller than us, I'm going to be plus one and shifty shooter to Hall of Fame. You get it on goal once we upgrade the agility. And there's if you're taller than me, you're not going to be able to keep up with me when it comes to me just running out of a dribble move and fading a mid-range like you're just not i'm gonna put my lethal shoot sh or lethal spots in the mid-range as well and we're just not gonna be missing mid-ranges i'm also gonna put on devin booker fade if you're not starter four put on demar Derozan fade it's gonna be crazy okay and yes i'm not upgrading the three-pointer on this build want to know what's crazy is first of all i'm just gonna be this is gonna be a midi fading build so i'm not gonna be shooting threes but i guarantee you when i make this build and i'm and i get hot on the build I will be able to green with a 46 three pointer. That might sound crazy, and I don't expect anybody watching this video to be able to do that. But I, and I'm not going to be shooting threes with a 46 three pointer, but I'm just saying for fun, if I want to pop one, I feel like if I max out this build, I will be able to do it because I have seen people been greening with a 55 three. I've greened before with a 25 three, but that's not what this build's for. We're just going to be shooting a lot of mid ranges, uh, really mid ranges only. But, you know, I'll make a video eventually if I max out this build and show off the 46 three-pointer anyways moving to the playmaking 81 ball handle once again for that silver handles for days and all those drill moves we're actually going 75 speed ball which is going to be pretty nice because i planned on going 68 but 75 gives us silver lightning launch and really we could plus one to gold but honestly i want a plus one for hall of fame shifty shooter instead for that tier one moving on to the defense we're only 88 interior now if i ever hit veteran two which well i will but if y'all ever hit veteran two and you have 10 cap breakers with this build this is a 10 cap breaker build too, potentially. You can get plus five or 93 interior, which gives you Hall of Fame post lock. Makes the build even better, okay? But 88 is what we're going with. 85 perimeter defense. Once again, going no steal, because like I said earlier, I explained how you don't need it on the ones. 84 block, okay? So, yeah, it's looking, the defense is looking good. We're going to get gold post lock. We're going to get silver paint patroller, silver high flying denier. Uh, we're going to leave the rebounding how it is. We're going to get an 85 speed on a 6'8", which is super nice. And we're also going to get a 78 agility, which is going to give us all the badges we need. Honestly, we can we only need a 76. We're going to go 78, though, just to get some extra agility. Uh, and then we can go, well, we're going to go 92 strength. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, you could go only 91 and still get all the badges you're already going to get. But I'm going to go 92 because I know eventually I'll hit veteran 2. And at 92 strength... I plus five in tier, I'll have post lock hall of fame. So that's what I'm going to be doing with that 92 strength. We get the gold brick wall. We get gold immovable. We get gold post lock. Get silver post powerhouse. We get hall of fame at strong handle. I know I'm one off legend strong handle, but I don't think that's the biggest of deals. Then the vertical, we're getting an 80 vertical, which is going to give us some insane block animations. It's also going to help us get a higher rise up higher high flying denier and i know yeah there are some attributes i could save here i could go down on agility i could go down on vertical i could mess around with this build 
put those stats somewhere else. But after messing around with this build for a while, for a while, um, I think those attributes are worth having on, especially that 80 vertical. And this is my 99 overall 6'8 shooting guard build that I think is going to be able to take over the game very already. And I think after the patch, the first patch, it's gonna be even better. Once again, plus one for a Hall of Fame uh, shifty shooter. And then honestly, the tier two, we could really go a lot of ways. We can go Hall of Fame post lock for now until we get to that 10th cap breaker, or we could do gold paint patroller, which is honestly what I want to do. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, and that could be what we do. But yeah, when we plus five, we'll have legend rise up for the standing dunk. This build is just going to be insane, man. I can't wait to max out this build because I'm going to be making this build. And I know you guys are going to be asking about the build. Well, here's the build. Okay. Now I'm going to show one with no cap breakers and one with pass sack. Anyways, let's show what this build name is going to be. Comparisons to Tracy McGrady. I mean, can you get a better comparison than that? Oh, well, yeah, you can. But that's a pretty good one. Two-way inside the arc creator. I mess with the build name as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you a non-cap breaker version and a pass uh, act version as well. Now, the non-cap breaker version is actually going to be super similar. It's literally the same thing, but a plus one free throw, minus two speed, minus two agility, and a plus one standing dunk. Now, this is going to give you Hall of Fame rise up, and then you can just plus one the tier two to legend rise up. You're probably thinking, why don't you just do that on your main build? I do think that the actual 99 attribute is just better than doing this. But if you don't have cap breakers, this is definitely the best option instead of just gutting the rest of your build out to get that 99 stat. So yeah, then I would, yeah, I would just plus one the tier two to legend rise up. Hall of Fame is even good too. And then you can plus one the tier one still the Hall of Fame shifty shooter. And this can easily be your non cap breaker version of this. All right, so here is the pass act version of this build. Literally the same thing, but we had to go minus four mid range. So we're not going to get the gold set shot specialist. We're not going to get the gold shifty shooter and plus one into Hall of Fame. We can still plus one into gold. We're going to get the 71 pass act, which is good enough for having pass on the build. And then we had to get minus five speed, minus two agility. We still get everything else, though. We get the strength, we get the ball handle, still get the same defensive stats. Still getting that Hall of Fame rise though. You can plus one into Legend. And you know, Gold Shifty Shooter is still solid too. And you can still put that DeMar DeRozan or Devin Booker fade on, depending on if you're starter four or not. And this is what you can go with for the, the uh, you know, no cap breaker and pass, pass act version of this build. Moving on to the second to last build of the video. This is the 1v1 build for my last video that you guys were asking about. So I'm not going to show a bunch of gameplay. If you want more gameplay, Go to the go to the my last video. You'll see more gameplay of it. This is the build that was guarding all those top ranked post scores while also shooting some crazy shots. You're gonna see it greening a bunch of heavies in this gameplay right here because it does get legend set shot specialist with the plus one to tier one uh, legends uh, set shot. But yeah, this build's pretty insane. It's six six. It's built like a linebacker. It's the build that all you guys were asking about. And yes. I did wait an extra couple days to post this video because look at all these other 1v1 builds in this video that you have to choose from. I thought it'd be, you know, better for you guys to get some options out there of some other 1v1 builds instead of just only posting this build itself. But look, it's getting ankle breakers. It's getting some good dunk packages like that Giannis dunk package right there. It's shooting over people. And I'm not even showing defensive clips right now. And if you guys watched that last video, it was defending post scores really, really well. So let's go ahead, head into the builder and show you guys exactly how to make this build. So now that we're in the builder, it's time to show you guys how to make this build. Now, trust me, it was worth the wait for this video so I can show you guys multiple different builds to make that you could have options for for the 1v1 court. But obviously this was the main build you guys were asking for. So you can go left or right hand position we will be going shooting guard because on point guard the max weight you can go on six sixes is 230 pounds and we actually need to go slightly over that so we're going to be going six 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 eleven wingspan so you can get that 93 mid-range uh we ended up cap cap breaking that so you can get a couple extra shooting badges and the specific shooting badge you're looking for here is hall of fame set shot and i personally plus one that to legend set shot which is pretty crazy for this build. But then you're going to want to go to exactly 232 pounds, which is going to give you 93 strength, which is another attribute we're looking for. So the first version of this build I'm going to show is the version I made with five cap breakers. I'm also going to show a version without cap breakers. 
and a version with pass act just in case people want to use this build or any of these other 1v1 builds on other courts so the first thing i went ahead and did is get a 75 driving dunk this is going to give you some extra dunk package animations it's also going to end up giving us bronze posterizer on this build you get Giannis dunk package you get draymond dunk package i also went with an 81 standing dunk to make our standing dunks a little better you're going to get some extra standing dunk animations you're going to get the draymond or i mean you're going to get yeah the extra standing dunk animations you're going to get rise up as a badge as well then when it came to mid-range i put my mid-range to a 90 and that's because i used three of my five cap breakers on a plus three mid-range which would eventually give us gold shooting badges and hall of fame set shot and like i said earlier we plus one that set shot so i get legend set shot on this build now we ended up going with an 87 three-pointer just to get as much three-point attributes as possible on the build and then obviously no pass act because we are a 1v1 build but i'll show a version with pass act 81 ball handle that is going to give us exactly silver handles for days and that and all right 80 ball handle you're going to unlock a bunch of different dribble moves and a lot of these builds you're going to see in this video end up having an 80 or 81 ball handle because you don't really need to go higher than that if you're more comfortable with gold unpluckable then you're more comfortable with that but i don't really getting be getting plucked like that so i'm fine with silver handles for days and silver unpluckable after testing multiple builds at 99 overall then i ended up going with a 75 speed with ball because going any higher on speed with ball unless you're getting the actual higher lightning launch badge doesn't really matter in this game when it comes to moving fast with the ball the actual lightning launch badge is what matters so silver if we can get to silver we can get that we can't get to gold on this build because you can't get to 86 so i ended up just going to 75 for that silver lightning launch now when it comes to defense this is where the build really specializes in because the rest of these 1v1 builds in this video all can guard post scores they can guard guards and that was really the main focus with this build when i was making that last video so we went to a 94 perimeter and we went to use the last two cap breakers on a plus two perimeter to get 96 perimeter giving us hall of fame perimeter badges we also went with an 88 interior which is gonna give us uh what hollow or no gold post lock and i ended up plus wanting that tier two badge to hall of fame post lockdown now when it comes to steel it was already at a 64 so i ended up just going to 67 to get bronze glove but i'm telling you guys right now i'm going to mention this multiple times in this video for whatever reason on the 1v1 court you do not need high steel badges you're going to see a lot of these 1v1 builds with 67 steel 45 steel 55 steel because for whatever reason you can still get blitzes you can still pluck post scores out of drop steps you can still pluck post scores out of the close shot move you can still blitz them you can still get a lot of steals with no steel so i end up saving a lot of attributes on these 1v1 builds because i don't have to go a high steal to be successful on the 1v1 court when it comes to steals anyways block we have a 74 block on this build and honestly i think i'm pretty sure i ended up actually plus wanting paint patrol but we'll, we'll we'll talk about that in a second here rebound didn't end up going with any extra rebound that's another thing with the 1v1 court rebounds are really rng not a lot of people upgrade them i have a 33 o board on this game and a lot of the times when i'm missing the paint i end up just getting my own board because that's just how the 1v1 core is and rebounds pretty expensive in this game so wasting your attributes use on rebound on the 1v1 core is kind of a no-no in my opinion anyways going to the physicals on this build the physicals are really good we get an 85 speed which is just going to help us a lot on defense when it comes to running up and down trying to chase people down with blocks get contests in the paint after you know guarding the perimeter when they try to zoom by you and the agility is also insane too we get an 87 agility to to combat with that 96 perimeter once we cap breaker it and yeah that that makes this build a lot easier to defend on especially with the high weight and then with the strength we went with a 93 strength guys this gives us legend strong handle legend immovable gold brick wall gold post move lockdown it's crazy this build is pretty insane but 65 vertical as well which is going to give us bronze poster bronze high flying denier and silver rise up and this is really the build at 99 overall uh you can really put this last attribute anywhere you want I mean, you can put it on block get a 75 block maybe you think speed with ball at 76 is going to do anything i don't think that does anything maybe free throw post control even put the last one on standing dunk it's really up to you we're just going to put it on block and this is the build i went with at 99 overall i ended up cap rating plus three to mid-range 
and I ended up cap rating plus two to perimeter. So yeah, this build, if we look at all the badges, pretty insane. Like I said, it gets basically every single badge in the game. That's not a passing or post scoring badge. Guys, legend, strong handle, gold shifty shooter. Once we cap breaker, uh, hall of fame set shot with a plus one and the cap breaker. Hall of Fame on ball menace with a cap breaker. Hall of Fame challenger with a cap breaker. Gold dead eye with the cap breaker. Silver handles for days. Silver lightning launch. Legend immovable. Hall of Fame off ball pets. Gold post lock. Gold brick wall. Silver rise up. This build is just insane. I, I love this build. This is my favorite 1v1 build that I've maxed out so far. But you're going to see there's another build in this video that I think is going to be end uh, ending up going to be better than this build and this is why this build is not number one on the list but anyways we're gonna go ahead and make the build just to show y'all that this is the build name we ended up getting michael cooper comparison clay thompson comparison and herbert jones comparison we're gonna show what animations i have on this build we're gonna show uh the build at 99 overall what it looks like upgraded and all that the two-way sharpshooter but before we go ahead and do that let me show you a version of this build with no cap breakers and a version of this build with pass act on it as well now here's a version of the build with no cap breakers now you can see there are some changes here i still wanted to get that 96 perimeter and that 93 mid-range that we did end up getting on the build with no cap or, or with cap breakers so yeah we still get the 93 midi you know, we get that Hall of Fame set shot. We get the gold shooting badges. We went down on the three-pointer because we didn't lose any badges. And I don't think going minus four in the three-pointer is really going to affect you too much. You're still going to get bronze limits range. You're still going to get the shooting badges you need. Honestly, it shouldn't affect you too much. Then with the driving dunk and the vertical, we went down on the vertical a little bit. Down on the driving dunk a little bit. So we don't get bronze post riser. But we still get the hangs off one dunk package. That's going to be a really good dunk package for you guys. And we still get not an 81 standing dunk, but a 72 standing dunk, which is going to still give you some extra standing dunk animations. And it's still going to give you bronze rise up. And then honestly, we really had nothing to do with the extra attributes. We couldn't go 65 vert 75 dunk. We, there was no point of going 81 standing dunk because we couldn't go 81 standing dunk 62 vertical. So I actually ended up putting the offensive rebound up a bunch because there was literally nowhere else where we would get a lot of attributes from except the O board. So I went 72 offensive rebound, which ended up giving us silver box out beast. And it could be a plus with this build. Now, when it comes to a build with no cap breakers and pass sack for this build, we took a lot of hits. Obviously you saw, uh, I didn't even get to mention in the last one. We did have to go minus three speed, minus five agility, but we still get the badges needed for those. But on this one, now we, you know, we kept the driving dunk lower. We had to put the standing dunk to a 40. And if you guys know anything about 40 standing dunk on my other six, six build, it's actually really good. So I don't think you're missing out on, on a ton. But the pass like, actually goes up to a 78, which I think is actually really, really good. But we also had to take a hit on the perimeter. So we're not going to get Hall of Fame perimeter badges. We're going to get gold. We're not going to get legendary and movable, but we are going to get Hall of Fame. And we got like a plus nine O board to 33 to 42 because there was nothing else to upgrade. But honestly, for a build with no cap breakers, a 1v1 build with, with or ISO build with no cap breakers, and you get pass act to play in other game modes. This is the best it's going to get for this 6-6 build. Anyways, let's move on to the 6-6 I made with cap breakers with no pass sack and take a look at the attributes and animations. Now, here is me on the build. Like most of these builds in this video, I have them already made at a red plate. And this is once again, one of them. This is probably the build I've used the most to get to top 15 in the world on the ones. You see I cap breaker plus three mini plus two perimeter. I'm going to go ahead, show you guys the animations I have on this build as well if any of you guys want to copy them down by the way I also have a dribble tutorial out there for most of these 80 plus ball handle dribble moves that I have equipped so you should probably look into that if you guys haven't already also here are the dunk styles uh, that I have equipped as well and then of course here is just me moving around with the build in the my court just in case you guys didn't see enough gameplay of it in the last video and yeah this was the build that a lot of you was a lot of your guys's favorites from the last video um is it one of my favorites honestly you're gonna see this six seven in a second that i personally think could be better than this build once i get it completely maxed out and i made it just a couple other days ago and once again i do think the build i just showed before this that six eight build could also be better than this build but i know a lot of people liked this build right here so I'm going to go ahead and show it anyways, because a lot of my literally 80% of my ones games, maybe 70% have been played on this build right here. And it'd be going crazy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the last 
build of the video. Now, here is the last build of the video. This is the only 6-7 build in this video. And I don't have too much gameplay of it except one gameplay from my stream last night. By the way, make sure you guys are following the Twitch. I'll be streaming daily on there, especially days that I'm not uploading on YouTube because I do be streaming on YouTube as well. But anyways, this is my 6-7. This is probably one of the best defensive builds in this video that you're going to see. Not only that, it's probably the best build in this video, in my opinion, besides potentially that 6-8. I'm going to be making that 6-8 today, and I think that one might take the crown for this video. But anyways, this 6-7, you can see it's going crazy. It's moving pretty decent, and all this gameplay you're seeing from it is literally just my first games on it. Like, it's not completely badged out. It does have the attributes. It has zero hot zones. So, you know, take the gameplay with a grain of salt, but you can see it's still getting to the basket fine. It's still doing, you know, the 81 ball handle dribble moves fine. And it's going to be able to fade middies extremely well. I had Devin Booker fade on out there with it. Uh, I was making a bunch of contested layups with this build as well because I put on a uh, high timing profile layups on it. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to make this build, how to show it or how to make it without cap breakers and how to make it with pass act as well. But yeah, this build right here took me a while to craft, and it's kind of like an adjusted version of the last 6-6 I just showed you guys from the last video, but just, in my opinion, a better version. So let's go ahead and get into the builder. So here we are, the last build of the video, y'all. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. So you're going to go shooting guard at six foot seven. The reason we're going shooting guard is because on point guard, the max weight you can go here is going to go ahead and be 230 pounds, and we need to go a little more than that. So we're going to be going... 235 pounds seven foot one swing span because that's going to give us enough to get that 95 strength which is what we're looking for here and we're also going to have a long enough wingspan to get that 90 or 89 mid range still while still having a 7-1 wingspan okay so starting with the finishing we're going to start with an 82 driving dunk this is going to give us anthony edwards dunk package quick drops uh Kevin Booker dunk package. It's going to give us the reverse dunks as well. We're going to go 40 standing dunk, which is going to eventually just naturally go to a 45 standing dunk for upgrading something else. But it's going to give us the standing dunk package that we need. Then we're going to be going 67 post control just to give a couple, you know, bronze post scoring badges because we are 6'7. We do want to take advantage of that height when we need to. That close shot's going to eventually go up as well. But yeah, we're going to max the three pointer to an 81 just to get as much three pointer as possible. And then we're going to be putting the mid-range to an 88. And we're going to be using one of the cap breakers on the mid-range to an 89, which is going to give us gold set shot specialist. And we're still going to have silver shifty and silver dead eye. Moving on to the playmaking. You already know what ball handle we're going with. 81 ball handle. It's the money ball handle. Okay. Spew a ball. We're going at 75 for that silver lightning launch. Defense is crazy on this build. 93 interior. So we don't get spinned by post scores as much. And so we can guard those drop steps. Okay. Perimeter defense is going to be an 85. I've been really liking the 85 perimeter defense on a lot of my builds. Uh, block is going to be an 84. This is going to still give us that silver paint patroller. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the agility and go to an 83. So just maxing out that agility while still getting 85 speed. And we're still getting 91 strength, which we're going to plus four. Because we plus one that mid-range. We're going to plus four that strength. So we get Hall of Fame post lock. Uh, and ha actually Hall of Fame brick wall as well. Which is going to be really good for those post scorers trying to back us down. And then we're going to go 90 uh, vertical. And I accidentally had a plus one layup right there. So yeah, 90 vertical on this build. The highest vertical out of any of these builds in this video. I'm telling you guys vertical is insane i barely was playing with this build in the blocks and animations i was getting when i was trying to defend someone in the paint or driving to the paint is genuinely insane on this build y'all i mean it is it is literally insane anyways then we can put the post control to a 70 right there get post fade phenom on silver and this is what the build is looking like completely maxed out plus four strength for the 94 strength or 95 strength plus one midi for the 89 mid range and this build's insane we're gonna get legend strong handle we're gonna get gold legend set shot specialist we're gonna get hall of fame post lock we're gonna get hall of fame brick wall 
We're going to get a 90 vertical for those blocks, silver paint patroller. I'm going to end up plus wanting let our set shot specialist to hall of fame on this build. And I'll even be able to plus one paint patroller to gold, making this build pretty, pretty crazy. We're going to go ahead, show off the build name and the comparisons are crazy, man. Tracy McGrady, Anthony Edwards, and Dante DiVincenzo. Those are some very, very good comparisons. Definitely the best comparisons of the video. But let's go ahead and show a non cap breaker version. And of course, a pass act version for y'all. Now, the non cap breaker version is actually still really good. We ended up just going 92 strength instead, which means you could actually go lower weight on this as well until you have 92 strength. We're missing out on brick wall, still fine. We're still going to end up getting that Hall of Fame post lockdown, which is really, you know, something that we are looking for with this build. So as long as we get that, we're good to go. Still get that 89 mid range, even without the cap breakers. But we ended up having to go a little lower three, 77 three. Honestly, it's good. A little lower post control to 67, still getting those bronze badges. And to be honest, for a non cap breaker version, we went minus one agility as well. This is actually looking really, really, really good. And then here is a pass act, no cap breaker version. And honestly, this is still really good. We get a lower we don't really get any post control badges which is still cool it's whatever we had to go a little lower three so 75 3 89 mid range had to go a little ver low vertical 85 vertical though is still really really good but we and also we had to go a little lower agility so 78 agility not losing any badges of that but we get a 78 pass act it's actually really really good for this build and if you're still worried about that 75 3 to be honest you can go 80 vertical and then just put that three pointer to a 79, put the rest on like free throw or whatever. And you can get that 79 three pointer. So, yeah, there's your options for the pass act, no cap breaker version. Now, I'm only black plate on this build right now. And that's because I literally made it yesterday. So, I played like 10 games with it. And then, yeah, that's it. I haven't really play, gotten to play with it too much. Don't have any hot zones on the build yet, but it is upgraded. We're not completely badged out yet. You see, that's where I put my cap breakers on, like I explained earlier. Let's go ahead and show you guys the animations I have equipped on this build as well. And then we'll show you guys me moving around with this in the my court. And yeah, I mean, let me know in the comments which one of these builds is your favorite 1v1 build. Which one are you guys making? Maybe you, you know, took one of these builds and changed it up a little bit as well. Let me know. Personally, I think this 6'7 that we're showing right now in the 6'8 with 99 standing dunk are going to be the two best 1v1 builds from this video but yeah let me know what you guys think anyways it's been your boy henry aka double h make sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video if this video helped you out at all and subscribe to the channel 1 million subscribers on the way it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace